dog shot down, I want you to imagine in your mind that we're all coming right back here because what I would do if we have time is have you all come back and talk to your partner. But what I'm going to have you do is say one quick thing to your partner at the table. Remember that as we are reading, we always want to make sure to be checking in and making sure what? And asking ourselves, is it clear? clear? If it's under, we're understanding it, we're going to keep on reading. If we're not understanding it, we're going to stop and we read. I want to give you a little bit of language, some words you might use when you're talking with your partners about understanding and if it's clear. So if I wanted to talk to my partner about the who, what, or where in the story, I might say my book is about or in this book. And those are some language. Those are some sentence stems that you could use if you're going to share with your partner about the who, the what, and the where. Now, oh, this is the best word ever. This is the best word ever. I challenge you to, for Miss Childress, to hear this one. If you're going to try to describe to your partner the movie in your mind, here's an awesome word. You could say, well, the movie in my mind is, or you could say this. In this part, I was envisioning. <sighs> Give me a thumbs up if you think that's an awesome word. Envisioning. Envisioning means you're seeing it in your mind. mind. So you could say, in this part, I was envisioning girls doing <laughs> sand on the floor. Or if you're sharing your reaction, you might say, this part made me feel, or this part reminded me of. Now, I know you'll be practicing some of that language. 